Hello everyone. So in this session, we are going to see about T on timer that is generate on delay timer. So basically, this timer I already told you that it is used to turn on the output for a after a particular time. For example, if you are setting a preset time of 10 seconds, so the output will not be high instantaneously. It will take some time that is 10 seconds, and then only it will allow the output to be in the high state. So here. You can use generate on delay instruction to delay setting of the output by the programmed time pt. So obviously it will be used for, for generating a delay, right? So the programmed time pt begins when the instruction is start. So whenever the out timer is turned on, so then the timer will start its running its time also. Okay. So when it will complete the 10 seconds or whatever time we have set in the pre preset time after that only it will turn on the output okay so when the timer pt has elapsed the output q has the signal state one so obviously elapsed means what when it will complete the duration okay so whatever time we have given in the pt when it will complete it then only the output will be in the high state so let us observe this thing in the software right so here uh, let me create the tags first okay so we'll be requiring one start tag here start okay so this one is our start tag and i'll also require one uh, basically it is an start tag i'll be requiring one led right so i am just taking it as led so it is basically an output so i'll be writing it as q0.0 .0, okay and then next we will be taking the elapsed time elapsed time so basically a time is a numerical value whose range can be very high also that is why we will be taking it here as memory double word so what will be the address here md0 suppose right so the this will not and uh, now it will be double word so basically double word right so here it will be now this is fine okay so in this way we have taken all the tags now let us go to the software or oh, sorry programming window okay so that is organization block so here what we'll be requiring is we'll be taking one nano and then what we'll do is we'll take one timer so basically which timer is required it is t on timer okay so basically on delay timer we are taking now it is asking to create as a dbz that is a data block so what we'll do is just i will click on the data block here so in this way we have taken the timer now we'll be taking one output which will be controlled by the timer okay so we are having an output here now what i'll do is i'll just give the start input here okay and here the preset time for after which the output should be in the high state so let us take it 10 seconds again okay and here elapsed time that will be stored in a double word so we are taking it as md0 okay now after this the output which we have taken that is led that is q0.0 so this is done okay so in this way we have taken all the requirements of this network now let me download it okay so i am downloading into the plc right okay after downloading let us go to the online mode okay so now it is in online mode okay so what i'll do is i'll just monitor this tax okay now uh, let us observe what is going to happen okay so let us see what is going to happen so first of all we are having a start input here so what i'll do is i'll just click on this start input okay i am just turning on the timer so i am just turning it on okay see now we have given a 10 seconds of time so the output will be high after 10 seconds it is not turning on instantaneously 
okay so after completing this 10 seconds the elapsed time has become equal to the preset time then only the output is in the high state so this is how we are using the t on timer okay so when you are releasing it okay so suppose if you released the input so the power from the timer has been taken away so the output is also in the low state so what is required is in order to turn on the output it should be the timer should be in the on state always okay so it will take some time and then only the output will be in the high state so whenever you are clicking on this one and if you take the power again okay so what is happening it is going to zero again so it is not like that uh, tp right so it is something different here we need not to take the power off so if it is given then it should be continuously given to the timer so that it completes its time and then it will turn on the output okay so this is how the t on timer works so the next timer will is t off timer that we'll be seeing in the next lecture Okay.